All right. Good morning, everybody. This is Michael coming to you from Game Edge on uh, Friday, uh, October 18th. Happy Friday, uh, TGIF, obviously. So we'll go ahead and jump right into it. Full complex um, for the SPXP here. Call dominated above and below spot price, as, as we've seen for the uh, whole week. Um, we've drawn uh, kind of some uh, zones here where um, that are important for today. Obviously, transition is going to be important. Uh, 58.50 is going to be extremely important to the upside. If we get above 58.50, then I'd be looking up towards 58.75. Uh, all call dominated there. We do have a little bit of negative net delta towards that 65. Uh, so I would look for some stalling there. Um, but uh, call dominated, obviously net OI all the way, all the way up above 58.50. So really nothing stopping the train um, from going higher if we do get above uh, 58.50. Obviously, we'll watch the net stack command. We'll show that here a little bit. Kind of why I'm discussing that 58.50 blow. Uh, transition, obviously, 58.35. We do see just uh, some single digit net gex through here. So uh, if we do start pushing down below kind of that 58.15 level, um, there is an opportunity to push price lower uh, just because uh, because the net OI is uh, not significant there in a few little um, places. So we'll watch those individual. And then obviously we have 5,800, um, that large uh, Livermore round number where I'd anticipate some sort of um, demand type action. Uh, into that level and again call dominated so uh, it is uh, demand um, supportive type action uh, dampened volatility to the downside so not really expecting a significant move to the downside unless we see um, uh, targeting uh, via the volume command and uh, otm puts uh, start to come in and really see negative uh, slopes uh, on the centroids uh, for the day. So obviously uh, expiration day, uh, larger amount of gamma coming off, um, but really not anticipating expected move 0.43% at the moment. So um, we will have some volatility, but not expecting anything uh, major, uh, at least heading into the open for today. I'll go ahead and, go ahead and look at the zero DT uh, transition, 5840, 5845, very narrow is what I discussed already which is great for your if then. So above 58.50, we do have PGEX there. I'd like to see that move up. Um, COI is up there at 5,900. So opportunity to move up. We do have these in the money puts above us though, um, at above 58.50. So we need to see those, that moneyness matter start to change. We need to see price start to push up. And these uh, in the money puts change to OTM. Obviously we start capturing those deltas and we'd like to see some call speculation to the upside. So that's what I'm saying um, might be difficult to get above this 58.50. And then if we do 58.75 might be kind of that stalling area. To the downside, pretty supportive uh, on any weakness, pull back down towards 58.15, which you've already discussed. So I'd look for an opportunity to get involved along if we see the MTM uh, recover in the vol M with a either flat to positive slopes. I'd be looking to get involved uh, in the market on a pullback into a call dominated environment down uh, on morning uh, weakness. So we'll see how that plays out this morning. Um, Delta balance for SPY uh, looks good for today. Strong bull, weak bull, uh, right hand plane, left hand plane. So nothing really to speak of there. Delta balance is at one. Um, we do see the left hand plane uh, drop below zero um, heading on out uh, for uh, Wednesday. So we'll continue to monitor that Monday and Tuesday still look strong. So nothing really to to, to hit on there. Uh, SPX, right-hand plane, weak bear. That's what I talked about there. Above spot price, the OTM call speculation is a little bit weak. That 58.50 is really kind of the area I'm watching. So I'm not anticipating us to get above that significantly unless we see OTM call speculation. Left-hand plane, uh, still strong, strong bull. So that's below spot price. So that's why I would be looking for an opportunity to get involved long on any weakness and pull back down towards 58.15, 5,800. Again, we'll see how that plays out uh, throughout the day and then strong through next week and actually recover Wednesday and Thursday of next week to strong bull, uh, both planes um, back to uh, full bullish. Um, so that's uh, that's good. So really nothing um, to look at for next week. Uh, post OPEX there still looks good. Um, the uh, cumulative tick market trend model, um, the uh, short term and midterm are, uh, red, are uh, red here. And then obviously longer term rainbow, we've had the uh, red above cyan, so flip. So longer term structure is still very bullish. Short term, we're just seeing some profit taking and consolidation with an overall uptrend. Um, so we'll look at that. 
uh, CT bolded white line below the railroad tracks, just trending down a little bit. But we're starting to see the ribbon flip uh, start to change red above cyan. So again, any pullback, I'd be looking to get involved in the market. Yesterday was a down day. Uh, filter cumulative tick was not significantly down, so really nothing to change there. New highs still outpacing new lows. Um, so breadth was still good. And then the overall, uh, as I said, the institutional um, filter cumulative tick was just slightly down at negative 8,000. So not a lot of institutional selling yesterday. So we'll watch this. If we start to see the uh, bolded white CT turn back above the moving averages, I will look to get long uh, some more uh, leveraged ETFs. I took a significant amount of leveraged ETFs off yesterday into this overhead. Um, IW, or, um, uh, TNA, um, uh, TQQ, and um, my SPXL. Um, trimmed those pretty significantly uh, yesterday into the highs, which was a good... Um, which was a good plan. And then now I'll watch for this bolded CT to turn back above the moving averages. So let's go ahead and jump into the trading view, our plan, or at least my plan for today. Uh, so 58, 59, 58, 60 looks to be the open. So looks like we'll be opening up here somewhere around 58.50, 58.60. As I said, I want to see us uh, hold above that 58.50 level, which is going to be uh, very important for today. Let's go ahead and draw a line on there. Um, any weakness down towards this 58.15, 58.20 is where I'd be looking to get involved. I'm going to draw a box there. I'm going to put this about 5870. This is not specifically the drunken sailor range um, to have laid out, um, but this is kind of where I'm going to be watching um, for today um, to the upside. We're watching the um, net stack command. Uh, again, 5850 looks like um, where a lot of that charm is sitting to the upside. So above that, uh, I'd look for those um, uh, those uh, OTM um Sorry, ITM, uh, OTM calls um, to uh, cause some issues up there at 5850. Um, and then all the way up towards that 5870, 5875. Um, the drunken sailor range, Taylor's drawn here 5870 to 5820. So pretty much just what I labeled there, which is good. So we'll match that up. Uh, I can pull this up a little bit. I'll put it at 5815. I like that. And then 5870. So uh, anywhere in here, uh, chop type action um, and uh, really not defined. So above 5850, I'd be looking long for a move towards 5870. Obviously, that's a button to see trade. Um, and then I'd look for some stalling action up here towards 5870. Above 5870, we have a clear path towards um, 5885 and 5900 if we see the OTM call speculation. And then weakness below 5815, we'd be looking for 5800, somewhere around in there. And then uh, overall chop range within this. Um, you can take the trades within this, uh, but just be button the seat, zero DT trade. So that's how I'd be looking to play this um, for today. Um, I posted a couple um, stocks in the single stock discussion. Uh, CRWD looks good for today. CLF, lower beta stock. I like CRWD, uh, kind of posted my reasons for that. I'll be watching that. Uh, for an intraday trade um, for today. Um, and then uh, P2P will be exiting Visa and we do not have any new trades to open in uh, P2P for today. So, all right, that's all I have. Uh, I'll be back here in just a few minutes in the Discord um, and uh, we can lay out uh, some other game plans or if anybody has any questions um, and uh, we'll see you in a few minutes. Thanks.